Hi all, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This is a quick demonstration video showing how to set up projects in MBS Chorus and start adding some systems and products to your specification. You can see the create new project button here you'd use. Um, you can add a thumbnail or a picture to your new project, add in all the details here that you'd like to show, um, use the map function here to search where your project would be, and then add in any description you like. So there's plenty of information there you can show. I'll jump back to my project that I already have set up, which is 55 Beach Street. Uh, now in here, I already have architecture and interior set up specifications. You can simply add another one here, which could be uh, external works or landscaping. The content set in this case would be the Australia Uniclass 315 work sections to make sure we're getting the right content from Australia. So once that's set up, the landing page is to actually start adding content from the MBS library, which you'd search in here. I'll just hop back to my architecture and interiors specifications in order to do that. You might notice they have the icons by the side. That means they've been linked to a Revit model, which is particularly handy with the integration um, that you can have with the Revit model to the specifications. So they're kind of running concurrently uh, alongside each other instead of having the specifications built up right at the end of the project. So I'll enter into uh, the interiors, for example. And again, here is where I can start adding content to what I already have. That again takes you to the search where, for example, if I enter uh, board ceilings, there'll be lots of results turn up. As you can see, 646 results there. To filter that down a little bit, I'm turning off the template clauses first of all which is useful. Those are the ones that um, are not fully written by MBS, but they are in the system anyway. Then I'll refine it by going to systems only. I can leave the library architecture and the sorting by relevant. So straight away, you can see it's come down to 177. So in this case, I'd add in the board suspended ceiling systems. It turns up on the left hand side panel here. Um, you can see it's uh, bold because I've not yet entered into it yet. Um, and also you can see what's a tabulation of what's already in your interior specifications, six systems and seven products. So I'll go back into my interiors specification. As you can see, that's the one that's not yet been entered into. I've already been working on these ones. So as a quick demonstration, we have gypsum board partition systems. I'd enter into that system and start building up the content that I want to show. The menu stays the same on the left-hand side. When you click into the spec, small gray line appears and this is where you start actually adding to what you want to show then there's a really handy guidance panel on the right hand side which particularly when your project staff are building up specs in-house you can start to use all the expertise written by the mbs team so if i scroll down on here this is where you start entering the information you want choosing from the mbs options here when you click the down arrow and particularly the execution clauses um, give lots of information how to execute this particular system you're working on. You can use the down arrows at any point to add in our trusted content. And of course, add to it a little bit more if you want to with your own particular company or project requirements. You can use the three dots there to say, add a new row above or below. The numbers automatically jump for you. So it bumps the last one down to number five. Or you can do an indented addition to give 5.1 says so lots of options there how that works go to save that and zoom back up to the top and that's where you'd continue to populate your particular system i'll just navigate back to the interiors overall and demonstrate that what's particularly handy for other companies is to use the prefix and suffix you're able to obviously sort by there in the same way i've sorted by alphabetical order here um, Particularly useful sorting different types, um, giving internal wall numbers or door numbers, and then you can start having a trusted set of content built up to then save up here as masters, which we'll show you how to do in a further video.